Wells Fargo presents one of the surest ways to grow your money. A Wells Fargo CD account. Where you can earn a 5.00% annual percentage yield on an 11-month term with a minimum opening deposit of $5,000. Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash CD rates to open a CD account and start growing your savings with us. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. Hey, it's Story Worthy. Today on the show, comedian John Reap talks about helping his father clean the swimming pool. Buys this underwater repair kit, and he gets a backpack full of rocks to hold him down at the bottom. You know, so he can fix it, but not float to the top. And then he's going to uh, use a garden hose to breathe through. He's got a backpack full of rocks on his back. There is a garden hose coming out of his mouth. There's duct tape everywhere. Today on the show, comedian John Reap talks about his father cleaning the swimming pool. Stay close. Hey, this is John Reap, and you're listening to Story Worthy. Welcome to StoryWorthy. My name is Christine Blackburn, and I'm coming to you from Los Angeles, California. Whether you're a longtime fan of the show or a new listener, welcome to StoryWorthy. I hope you guys enjoyed the show last week with Lori Frazier. She is such a talented girl. Oh, my gosh. She told this great story about her narcissistic father, and it is just very well told and very entertaining. So go back, you guys. Listen to Lori Frazier. But not today, because today I'm here with another really entertaining comedian. His name is John Reap, and he tells the story that is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. His father had him and his brother help clean the swimming pool. But the way they go about it is so wrong <laughs> and so dangerous. It turns out to be hilarious. So enjoy the story today by John Reap. And I wanted to remind you guys that I'm bringing back these stories over the last 12 years because they're certainly still story worthy. And even if you've heard them before, I bet you're going to want to hear it again because I'm only bringing back the very best stories over the last 12 years. I have over 700 to choose from. So, you know, this is a big pool I'm, I'm pulling from. Anyway, you guys, I'm spending a lot more time, like I said, on my life in three songs, which is over on Spotify. Please check out my new show, My Life in Three Songs. I really need listeners. I need followers because it is not easy to make a mark on Spotify. And I have to use Spotify because they have the music licensing that I need. So anyway, you guys, please do me the favor and check out my Life in Three Songs. Meantime, today, enjoy this hilarious story from the very funny John Reap. Uh, well, uh, my worthy story is the time where my dad almost drowned trying to fix a hole in the bottom of our swimming pool by wearing a backpack full of rocks and trying to breathe through a garden hose. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, you might be thinking, the, you hear the accent, and you're probably thinking, well, swimming pool in the backyard, that's got to be above ground. No. Valid thought in your head, but it is not true. My parents are okay. We had an in-ground pool in the backyard. Uh, had a deep end, had a shallow end. It was the kind that had the lining in it. And uh, one day, not the cement kind, actually had the lining, you know. And the lining got ripped at the very bottom of the deep end. And he had to fix it himself, which was fine. But he could have easily let all the water drain out first. But that would have been simple, safe, and efficient. <laughs> He's like, so he goes out. And he buys this underwater repair kit. They have those. And he gets a backpack full of rocks to hold him down at the bottom, you know, so he can fix it, but not float to the top, you see, where there's like oxygen and shit. And then he's going to uh, use a garden hose to breathe through. And I wish you could have seen this because there was a moment where he was actually like hanging on the side of the pool in the deep end. Okay. He's got a backpack full of rocks on his back. There is a garden hose coming out of his mouth. There's duct tape everywhere. No, no leaks here. And he's hanging on the side of that pool. And he started thinking, this is pretty stupid. Uh, it was too late. He was locked in. And uh, he gave me and my brother uh, a quick little speech. And our job was to just stand there and hold the hose for him at the top. <laughs> Two eight and nine-year-olds just stand there in charge of their father's life. And he's hanging on this thing like, all right, listen here. This is important. If you two boys feel your daddy tugging on this hose, that means abort mission 
and pull my ass back up. So he goes underwater. He's down there. I give him 10 seconds. And, of course, the water pressure or maybe the fact that his lungs are not strong enough to pull air under nine feet of water. One of those two, I don't know, uh, prevented him from breathing. And so he, he, you know, he's freaking out. He starts tugging on the hose, and me and my brother were ready, but we, we panicked because we're just kids, and we just yanked it as hard as we could, and it flew out of his mouth oh. and all the way out of the pool. So now we're standing above with this hose in our hands. He's down there with no lifeline. We don't know what to do. We're trying to get the hose to go back underwater, but it doesn't work like that. You can't get a hose to go back underwater because it'll, it'll snake up on you, right? So you actually have to, have to jump in there and take it to him. But then that brings water in the hose. So it's almost impossible. So... So he's down there freaking out. He's waving his hands. He can't get the backpack off. There's way too much duct tape. He's ripping off chest hair underwater. Me and my brother, he's like waving, and we're waving back like, what do we do? And so he decides the only way out of this problem is he's going to make a run for it to the shallow end of the slope. (laughs) And I don't know if you ever seen anybody actually try to sprint underwater. (laughs) With a sack of rocks on their back, uh, it's quite comical, kind of you know, because he'd get about halfway up a slope and he's running like he's sprinting, but he's not going anywhere. He's hauling ass, but he's going nowhere. And like he'd get about halfway up the slope and then hit a patch of algae and then go back down. You know, we didn't think he was gonna make it, but he finally made it somehow. Thank God, he just walked right up all the way, just walked up to the shallow end, and that was weird too because. As we're watching this, he is look he is staring at us underwater, screaming like he's pissed and he gives bubbles that are following him. He comes up out of water with his eyes already open. Yeah. Like that's creepy in itself. If you, most people have their eyes shut and come out and do stuff. This one his eyes were open and he was staring at us and he was screaming. And he just came up out of water and he's like, Hey, come here! Both of you right now! What the hell? Didn't you two idiots see your daddy down there waving for help? We're like, we just thought you was waving, daddy. What's an idiot? So luckily he survived that and to go on to to do many, many other dumb things that that now are in my act. Can you believe that story? Is that the craziest thing you've ever heard? I love it. And I love John Reap's accent as well. What a great guy. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for listening today. Don't forget to head over to Spotify and check out my Life in Three songs. I really need the support, and I know you guys will do it for me because you do it for me here on StoryWorthy. So again, my Life in Three songs, check it out. All right, you guys, one more time on behalf of the very talented John Reap. My name is Christine Blackburn saying Happy New Year and make it a Story Worthy week. Thanks for joining us on the Story Worthy Podcast. We'll be back next week with all new stories. Subscribe to Story Worthy on iTunes and visit the Story Worthy website at storyworthypodcast.com. Wells Fargo presents one of the surest ways to grow your money. A Wells Fargo CD account, where you can earn a 5.00% annual percentage yield on an 11-month term with a minimum opening deposit of $5,000. Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash CD rates to open a CD account and start growing your savings with us. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC.